Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. Marketing Master Jim Ackerman here with Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads from Biz Kaboom, where we're gonna give you a marketing specimen and you're going to tell me whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly. Today, a freestanding insert, something that came in a package of advertising. Take a look at this little guy here. Not too big, well, it doesn't appear to be too big until you open it up and realize that uh, there are, I've skipped one there, Look at the pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven with a fold that is a tear off envelope. And then on the back, eight, eight pages, all to uh, sell a little grow box for your tomato garden. Coming in general newspapers or ad packages that you can find around. Hmm. Is this good, bad, or ugly? Does this have a chance of working? That's the decision you have to make. I'll show you the sample pages, which will include the cover, um, an inside spread, and of course the final spread, which includes the order form and the tear-off envelope. You take a good close look at these things. Stop the video if necessary to really examine them and make your determination about whether this is good, bad, or ugly and then uh, I'll let you know what I think. This is one of the most intriguing ad specimens that I have shown you because it's old school. I mean way old school. Back in the days when print was king, they did this kind of a thing and it might have even been bigger than this. My neighbors laughed when I ordered, now all, they all want a tomato garden like mine. This is a re purposing of a different kind of a headline. This is a standard kind of a headline. They all laughed uh, when I sat down at the piano, but then I began to play. That was the original one. Now they all laughed, but now they want a, gar a tomato garden just like mine. Same basic game of headline scrabble to come up with a better headline. And then on the inside, look at the full color pictures. Very lightweight, by the way. Look at the full color pictures. Look at the massive amounts of body copy going along with each of those pictures. And then finally you get to the final page where there is an order form. Doesn't mean you have to order on the order form, but it tells you exactly what they want you to do. And you can even tear off this little envelope, stick your check inside, paste it uh, closed, and send off your check if you want to do it the old school way. Now what do we know about this? Well. Older folks like to grow tomato gardens and older folks still like to read the newspaper and they open their coupon marriage mail packages and look at these kinds of things. So while this might not be all that compelling to your everyday millennial, and I'm not saying it's not, I'm just saying it might not be, to the primary people that they're targeting with this ad, it's probably dead on and for the nostalgia of it, for the sound marketing principles that have been employed throughout, the marketing master says this one is good. You may not have agreed. That's okay. I'd like to hear why though. I mean, you can't just disagree and leave it there. You got to tell me why you think I'm wrong. So leave your comments below. Share it with your friends. Have them comment as well. Have a nice little argument if you want to over a beer or a root beer and uh, grow your understanding of what works in marketing and why. If you do, you'll notice that you'll be able to employ those principal strategies and tactics in your own efforts to get more customers who will pay you more money, more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. You learn it all here on Biz Kaboom and Good, Bad and Ugly Ads.